I am Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman of Douglas County Board of Commissioners. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Clearly, our show on DCTV 23 that has the purpose of bringing information to you about county departments, programs, and people. Information is essential to being able to think clearly. I'd like to welcome everyone for coming. Uh, my name is Ray Leifer, once again, Director of Outpatient Services here at Douglas County Community Services Board. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to have you all here today. Um, before we begin, I would like to acknowledge a few of our distinguished guests. Uh, Vice Chairman District 2, Commissioner Mr. Kelly Robinson. Uh, District 3 Commissioner Mike Mulcair. Mr. Richard Siegel, Mayor Pro Temp, City of Douglasville. Ms. Kim Alexander, Georgia State Representative, House District 66. Georgia State Representative Robert, uh, Roger Bruce, House District 61. Georgia State Representative William Bodie, House District 62. Douglas County Fire Chief Scott Spencer. Uh, Ms. Chris Perkins from the Office of the U.S. Senate, David Perdue. Oh, Mr. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Mr. Greg Baker, Douglas County Tax Commissioner. There you go. Uh, Douglas County Solicitor General, Matthew Cruel. And the President of Douglas County Chamber, Sarah Ray. And Sheriff Tim Pounds. Uh, Sheriff. Oh, and Sheriff, Sheriff Tim Pounds. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll oh, see. You slow on me. <laughs> All right. Um, at this time, would you all please rise for our invocation uh, provided to us by Reverend Richard Belfry II. Kind Father, we thank you again for another opportunity to come together with singleness of mind and with oneness in purpose and heart. Come here to gather a celebration and a dedication of a place that will be used for helping others, for building others, building families, building friendships, relationships, and to help to build communities. Oh Lord, we ask that you would dwell here as we are invoking your spirit, even at this very moment, so that you would give us strength and encouragement as we do the work that is needed in this hour, in this place. O oh Lord, help us to remember that we are not overlords or kings or queens, but we are servants of all. So help us as we reach out and help those who are uh, struggling with different vicissitudes of life on drugs or with family problems, developmental issues. We thank you for the wisdom, the foresight, and the faith and power and strength to help others and put others before ourselves. In Jesus' mighty name, we give your name praise, thanks, and glory. It belongs to you. Amen. 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 At this time, it will be a great pleasure for me to um, bring forward Queen Esther Martin, one of our Douglas County Community Services board members, who is going to leave us with a song selection.
next few minutes we'll hear remarks um, brought to you by our CEO, our Chief Executive Officer, Foster Norman, um, our Mayor Pro Temp, uh, Richard Siegel, and lastly, uh, Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. Foster. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well. We certainly want to welcome all of you out on this terrific day. Uh, be a part of the ribbon cutting for this wonderful facility. Uh, there's just, a, I guess, a couple of things that I, I want to make sure uh, that people hear uh, because I've been told I have limited amount of time to speak. I really wanted about an hour or so, but <laughs> I was told that was not possible. So, And to follow that beautiful music, I, I'm not even sure that I have words now that, that, that will come out of my mouth to describe what I want to say. Uh, but certainly one is that um, you may know that nationally it's estimated that one in five adults will sometime in their lifetime have a mental health issue. And then when you look at those individuals, probably only about 40% of those individuals ever seek treatment. Well, why is that? Well, there's a number of reasons. Uh, one is because they don't know that there are services available to them. And so one of the things that we want to accomplish today is to let you know and the community know that in Douglas County, there is a facility for individuals who have a mental illness or an addictions uh, disease where they can go and receive treatment. Now, one of the other reasons that folks don't uh, seek out treatment is because of the cost of treatment. And many of these individuals, they either work at a low paying job and don't have coverage to the employer or they don't work at all and don't have any insurance, or they may have been enrolled in one of the marketplace affordable 
Care Act policies, and they, their income may be so low that they receive the subsidy to get that insurance. But what they probably didn't realize up front is that there are co-pays associated with that insurance. And so then folks see that as uh, an inability to access services because they can't afford the copay. So here uh, at this facility, this outpatient facility, we are really funded mostly by the uh, taxpayers of the state of Georgia through the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities. So we run this operation on taxpayer funds. And so therefore, we are here for those indiv individuals primarily who do not have any way to pay for services. So I want you to keep that in mind when you're out and you're talking to neighbors, uh, your fellow church members, and they say, well, we don't have mental health services in our county. I want you to say, oh, we, yes, we do and I can show you where it is. And that there is a big facility over there with a lot of dedicated individuals who will be willing to help you. Our goal from the staff, myself, and our board is to provide quality care that is accessible, that is timely, and that is affordable. So for you here today, I hope that one thing you will leave with, if nothing else, is that you take away something about Douglas Community Service Board or something about mental health services in general that you did not know before you came today. So again, I welcome all of you. It's really terrific to have all of you here. Thank you very much for coming. Good afternoon. I am Richard Siegel, uh, Mayor for Tampa City, Douglasville. I'm honored to be here on behalf of our Mayor Rochelle Robinson and the entire City Council to welcome this facility here in the City of Douglasville. Uh, I'm going to be brief, and uh, I've been told I have to be brief, so I'm just going to say I'm glad this is here in Douglasville. I'm glad you're all here to see this, and, and I look forward to the great work that this facility will provide to the citizens of our community. Thank you. say your turn. <laughs> Good evening again and how great thou art. And this is the day that the Lord has made again once in Douglas County and this is a proud moment for us and also for the Board of Commissioners and the City Council and, and also our state elected officials and I want to make sure all our appointed officials that I touch upon you. And this is uh, an amazing time for me. We're really excited. I worked with uh, Ray Lightford and his team and prior to Foster arriving to Georgia uh, on this initiative. And the first conversation that Ray Lightford and I had was, uh, we were in a, you would have to see the building that we came out of, but we don't want to look back, we're looking forward. Uh, it was um, not aesthetically pleasing, but however, it was quality care provided, and we realized that. But with that being said, we are happy that we've advanced to a whole new level of quality here in Douglas County and we are so excited about providing services to our citizens. It is again a great day, and I know that in, in the interest of time, I just want to say to all of us, all the citizens, that this is the day that the Lord has made again, and we will cherish this building forever. It's, it's, it's a nice building, and I encourage everyone to come out, and also our citizens that need to utilize our services, we would love for you to come out as well. I have just a little, um, area, my, my, my communications director always write my speeches and I definitely don't want to have wasted his time last night. He did a great job. It's just a small little, and it's very, very well written. I would just like to say it's an honor and a pleasure to be here for this grand opening for Douglas County Open House. On behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, thank you for taking the time to be part of the growth of recognizing the significant opportunity to provide health services uh, to the citizens of Douglas County. Today we confirm our commitment to the health of our citizens by opening this new location in the central part of the county where citizens not only from Douglasville but Villarica, Winston, Lithi Lithia Springs and all over Douglas County can reach out for help. Having 40 years of experience in health care myself before becoming a commission chairman of Douglas County, I can testify that having a wide variety of clinical 
uh, and support services. So centrally located in Douglas County is essential to all of our citizens. As vice chairman of the Douglas County Community Service Board, I am in a position to help plan, guide, and oversee the agency's operations in providing mental health, addictive diseases, and developmental disabilities services to our residents. My role on the Douglas County uh, Community Services Board is an important one, and I'm not taking this lightly. And this is why I'm honored and I feel it is privilege. It is a privilege for me to serve in this role. We hope today's activity will be meaningful for you and you enjoy our new lake location today. And the recovery starts here and recovery is possible. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try to be even quick, more quick and brief than <laughs> my predecessors. Um, I had a speech prepared that I was going to talk to you guys about some key points and some things, but some of the, the messages that I heard from the people that passed before me was quality of care. It was about our connection with our community. So the first thing that I would like to do is I want all of my staff that works here in Douglas Outpatient Services to please stand up. I want everyone here to be able to acknowledge the people that are going to provide that quality of care. Thank you. These people are going to be the face of behavioral health here in Douglas County. They're going to be the trendsetters, they're going to be the standard bearers, and the people that you expect to hold us accountable. These are the people that our state representatives speak about when they talk about what kind of services are being provided with those tax dollars. These are the people that our local government preach about when they're talking about new initiatives and how the, the way ahead is going. These are our people that are frontline <coughs> fighters to ensure that we're giving quality of service. That's what we're about here in Douglas County. One of the initiatives from our leadership and why we wanted to make such an impactful move into the heart was because we wanted to make sure we touched all of our surrounding areas. We didn't want it just the northeast corner or the northwest, northwest corner. We wanted everybody to know that there were affordable health care options here within reach. So being brief, being quick, trying not to hurry at the same time, what's going to happen now is that I'm going to ask everybody to rise and head out to the front for the ribbon cutting ceremony. And then once we conclude that piece, if you go around the building, we'll have experts on those specific programs that we provide here to be able to explain to you what we do and how we do it. Thank you. Mr. Ray Lightfoot, I'm so excited about the new CSB clinic or community service board clinic here in Douglas County. And certainly you are the face of this new clinic, and I'm so excited uh, you being a director. Could you just tell us a little bit about the services that will be offered at this clinic? I mean, this community center, I'm just <laughs> saying the clinic, but it's larger than the clinic, it's right. outpatient services. Right, and, and, and I would like to add too as well, is this just the first stage of, of many to come. Um, right now we have 20 individual programs that belong to the center as, as it is today. We have um, the ability to provide psychiatric services, behavioral health services, uh, case management, coupled with residential referrals for all of our multiple programs. Um, we have supported employment, along with um, we have our resiliency clubhouse for teens and adolescents. That's amazing. So yes, it's, it's quite extensive. Um, we also have some external programs at the, the headquarters is here, but these individuals work out in the field, like our APEX program, which we're gonna be able to provide um, actual therapists in schools here in Douglas County um, to provide those behavioral health needs that those schools have and to be able to take some of those burdens off of the teachers and the uh, local administration. Wow, that's amazing. So how long have you been here? How long, when did you move on? Can you just tell us a little bit about where you, the, your former building versus this building? Okay, so we were initially in uh, Lithia Springs, 680 Thornton Way. Um, we were there for about 14 years. Um, we've only recently been here for about a month. Um, it's and, beautiful. Oh yes, and we're, and we're seeing the, um, the fruits of that, that transition now. I mean, these, the clients are so ecstatic about the space and the ability um, to get quality services in a beautiful facility. Um, and a lot of it was based on, you know, just the initiatives of our local leadership itself included, um, our entire board, along with, um, you know, the resiliency of the actual staff to continue to keep pressing forward to ensure we're providing quality services to the citizens of Douglas County. Talk a 
talk about some of those new services, and you said pressing forward. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a proponent of pressing forward, and we made that very clear on day one when I met uh, that me and you all, I've said everywhere I go, uh, Vince Lombardi, no, no room for second place. And you proved it again, once again for me. I knew you would deliver, and I would like to acknowledge the board members uh, as well, their efforts. But it took you and the vision and to just convince your staff to just stay with us and they have, and uh, this is an exciting moment. So talk about some of those new services. So some of the new services, like I mentioned earlier, was our APEX program, which uh, provides actually uh, therapy inside of the schools during the school day for kids. Mm -hmm. um, we've applied for that. Um, we've been approved to bring that into Douglas County. Uh, we'll be working heavily with the uh, superintendent of schools uh, to ensure that we identify those schools that are most uh, in need first and slowly try to matriculate into all the schools eventually to be able to have that as something that's uh, that's prominent for them. We've expanded our child adolescence individual therapy um, for both families and for the individual children um, because we've noticed that a lot of kids uh, need positive outlets and positive sources of venting and they don't get that in normal structure. So we use therapy to be able to work with them uh, because we found a lot of kids were being diagnosed with um, ADHD and ADD that necessarily were just frustrated and, and they were having trouble getting those emotions out. And so we use our individual therapy programs to be able to find alternatives to just having that diagnosis and that stigma being with you forever. So that's a few of us that we're very proud of. Um, we have an aftercares program. An aftercares program are for our uh, citizens who've been released from prison or jail to come immediately here um, and get help. Whether they need mental health help, whether they need transitioning help, uh, along with Carol Chateau in her office um, of the Sheriff's Department, working constantly with those individuals to make sure we provide high quality services mm -hmm. to all the citizens, no matter what walk of life you're in right now. Wow. Uh, Douglas County is very fortunate right now. I'm so excited. We were fortunate before we moved here, but this is a great moment for me. Like I said earlier, how great they are. Uh, just can you talk about a little bit about the composition of your staff? You know, we have some clinicians and psychiatrists, so that the citizens will be well informed what type of uh, uh, employment or employees you have? Oh, certainly. Well, depending, on, no matter what level of education is the first thing, yeah, we have a position for you. Um, it's more about learned skills. Um, we have high school level, entry level positions uh, as far as our client support workers, our direct care staff that provide um, those needed uh, supports for our developmental disabilities populations. Um, CNAs, phlebotomists, we have positions for those as well. Uh, coupling all the way up into psychiatrists and therapists. Mm -hmm. um, we look for people who have business backgrounds, uh, like myself, to be able to go in and make some of these decisions as we're trying to venture out in the future. Um, so no matter who you are and, and, and what walk of life you're in, we can find some. If you, you believe in servitude and you feel a calling to be able to help and assist the individuals in your community, we probably have something for you um, as far as employment. And this centralized model is very, it's, it's very uh, uh, promising future for Douglas County because it's a centralized model with all of your services centralized and I believe that's what your your plan was to bring in a few of those uh, services out of the Austell area is that what you're still planning to do? Exactly um, and, and the reason that we want to do a centralized approach is so that no one is left out you know whenever we're looking at a business structure and we are too far left too far right it makes it harder or, or it takes more resources to be able to reach all the people that you need to reach so being here at, you know, in the capital of our county, in Douglasville, um, we first identified the radius of travel. How quick can we get to service the individuals that need the help? And how easy would it be for them to be able to get to us? And so that was one of the key factors in our decision to transition here into down, well, into the heart of Douglas County. Just another question, last but not least, if you could just talk about the transportation plans for some of our citizens that need maybe transportation from one point A to point B. Can you Most talk definitely. about some of those future so, services? Future. Oh yes, so right now we're, we're working digitally uh, with our Medicaid populations and looking at possibly uh, being able to realign uh, some of our vehicles that we have in our fleet based on some of those things. Also we're looking at our budget uh, tariff restraints to be able to see how we could better utilize our resources to be able to find and be able to transport um, individuals within the county to and from our services. Um, right now the initial plan is to basically probably use our uh, ride and park locations as being centralized drop-off and pickup points to initially get started mm -hmm. um, and so it's something that we're really delving in and hopefully we'll have some kind of resolve for this uh, within the next 90 days or so. Well Mr. Lightfoot I just wanted to say uh, we, we are very fortunate here in Douglas County to have this wonderful operation of community service outpatient uh, services here in Douglas County. 
our citizens are ecstatic. I'm quite sure we, once the words start moving, uh, you will see, I know you probably have, your volume is probably already up. Do you have a lot of patients that have been coming through since in this new location? We, or? we definitely do. Um, new patients. New. Um, and that's, wow, great. Oh, yeah. And so that, and that's the biggest thing. Now, we knew that we were going to have a numbers drop initially based on where we were located and who was primarily trying to use the services. Um, now we're seeing more people that actually have that that 30134 zip code that are actually coming in, which is what we've always wanted. And like I said, as, as far as word of mouth and, and strengthening our community partners, we know that that number is going to um, keep expanding week by week, month by month. So, Well, thank you. I would like to thank you for the uh, amazing service that you're providing here in Douglas County. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you for having us. And thank you for watching Clearly this month.